Rodrigo Lara Bonello was a Colombian lawyer and politician, who served as Minister of Justice under President Belisario Batancur, and was assassinated by orders of Pablo Escobar because of his work as minister in prosecuting cocaine traffickers mainly belonging to the Medellin cartel. Lara's death led to Escobar's indictment for murder and a long-running controversy over extradition in Colombia that would ultimately cost thousands of lives. Born in Neva, capital of the department of Huila, Lara studied law at the Universidad Externado de Colombia. Years later he joined the Liberal Revolutionary Movement Party, founded and led by former Liberal President Alfonso López Michelson. In 1969, when he was only 23 years old, Lara was appointed mayor of his hometown. Members of New Liberalism, c. 1979. From left, Yvonne Marilanda, Luis Carlos Galán, Rodrigo Lara, Nancy Restrepo de Lara, Gabriela White de Velez, and Hernán Vieira. Galán, Lara, and White were assassinated either by drug lords or by the FARC. In August 1983, Lara, who belonged to the new liberalism created by him and Luis Carlos Galán, was appointed by President Belisario Batancur as Minister of Justice, replacing Bernardo Gaitán Majeca. Lara, together with Galán, publicly denounced the drug cartels, especially in Medellín, where the cartel was led by Escobar. When Escobar was elected to the Congress, Lara denounced him, citing his connection to drug cartels. Lara also exposed Escobar and the cartel for influencing politics and sports through corruption. This triggered a trap set by some politicians, drug dealers, and journalists who were threatened by the explosive growth of Lara in government and especially in the fight against drug trafficking. Jairo Ortega, Escobar's ally in Congress, presented a check to the chamber, supposedly drawn by known drug trafficker Evaristo Poros. This, in addition to a recorded conversation between Lara and Poros, caused many to question Lara's legitimacy. President Batancur, however, dismissed the allegations and retained Lara in office. After the alleged link between Lara and the drug cartels was discredited, the government began uncovering the shadowy dealings of the Medellin cartel, specifically Escobar. Escobar was expelled from the Congress and his U.S. visa cancelled. The minister went further, reviving criminal charges against Escobar and other drug lords, such as Carlos Letter. Lara also ordered the seizure of hundreds of planes and properties that were allegedly used for the production and distribution of illegal substances. While Congress debated approving an extradition treaty with the United States, Escobar and his allies sought to solve their problems by physically eliminating Lara. Assassination of Lara on April 30, 1984 Rodrigo Lara Bonilla was in his 1976 Mercedes-Benz W116 when Byron Velasquez and Ivan Dario Guisado drove past his SUV convoy in a Yamaha motorcycle. Guisado shot an Uzi through the window, hitting him multiple times. Lara was killed instantly, but the driver was left unharmed. His bodyguard shot Ivan Dario Guisado dead but Byron Velasquez was arrested and was paroled on October 15, 1995. Within a few days after his assassination Pablo Escobar and his family fled to Panama. After Lara's death, the Batanga government immediately approved the extradition law and began a war against organized crime. In turn, Enrique Parejo Gonzalez was appointed Minister of Justice. He directed a harsh attack against drug trafficking, leading to the extradition of three members of the Medellin cartel to the United States. In 2009, Rodrigo Lara Restrepo and the sons of the late Luis Carlos Galán announced to the media their forgiveness of Sebastian Marroquín, son of the late Pablo Escobar, who apologized for the damage done to the country in his two decades of narco-terrorism, as told in the documentary film Sins of My Father. Thanks for watching.